With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. A block of mass M is suspended through a spring of spring constant K and is in equilibrium. A sharp blow gives the block an initial downward velocity v. How far below the equilibrium position the block comes to an instantaneous rest? So we have a block of mass small m suspended by a spring and the natural length of the spring is l. The mass m has a downward force due to gravity mg acting in the downward direction. And this is counteracted by the spring force Kx because of the extension of the spring. So we can write Mg is equal to Kx. This implies x will be equal to Mg upon K. Now we are told that a sharp blow gives the block an initial downward velocity. So after giving it a blow, it has an initial downward velocity v. And as it goes down, there will be more and more spring force because of further extension of the spring. So after it comes to a position, below position 1, this is position 1 and this is position 2. At position 2, which is delta x below the position 1 the velocity will be become to 0 and that kinetic energy that it had initially is converted into the potential energy of the spring and also as the mass m is going downwards there will be loss of gravitational potential energy that is also absorbed by the spring so assuming that there is no friction you can say that energy is conserved that means energy at section 1 is equal to energy at section 2 let's assume section 1 as our datum this means potential energy at section 1 is 0 so E1 will be equal to the kinetic energy of the block which is half m v square plus the potential energy stored in the spring which is half into k into x square this is the energy at section 1 at section 2 the potential energy stored in spring will be half k x plus delta x whole square minus m g delta x since the block is going downwards therefore there will be loss in gravitational potential energy that is why we have put a negative sign here simplifying e2 we get half into k to x square plus delta x square plus 2x delta x minus m g delta x this implies half into k x square plus half into k delta x square plus k into x into delta x minus m g delta x putting the value of e1 here therefore half m v square plus half k x square so half k x square can be cancelled so we get half m v square is equal to half k delta x square plus 
k into x is equal to mg by k. So, mg by k into delta x minus mg delta x. k and k are cancelled. This is also mg delta x. Therefore, these two values will be cancelled. So, we are left with half m v square is equal to half into k into delta x square. Half can be cancelled. So, we get the value of delta x is equal to m into v square by k whole root. Therefore, delta x is equal to v into m by k root. This is the distance by which the mass m travels in the downward direction before coming to an instantaneous rest. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.